Hey Cancers, Yana Speaks here, and in this video, I am doing your love reading for the month of, what is this, March 15th until the 21st, alright? So I just want to start off by asking your spirit guys, what important message do they have for you this month? Okay, we have the three of wands. So the important message that they have for you this month is that this needs to be a month where you work on expansion, where you work on progression, um, where you work on going from point A to point B. It's a, it's a month where you need things to move forward, okay? Some of you may be traveling. Um, some of you maybe in long distance relationships but their overall the overall message they're trying to get for you is that move forward go to the next step stop staying stagnant keep pushing through okay because you need to have expansion and growth this month okay so let's get into the overall energy so what is the overall energy for Cancers, March 15th to the 21st? You guys are a bit stagnant. Yeah, that's probably why I pulled the three of wands, which is very guys saying that you guys need to push forward. All right, so right off the bat, you guys are having a new start in your love situation. But the thing that I'm seeing here is that it's more of an idea. It's like it's like the big, very, 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 very beginning stages of having a new start. So think of it like this. Um, let's say you live in one state and you're like, you know what? I want to move to another state. That will be the beginning stages of you actually moving to the new state. Is the idea of, I want to move to a new state. But I feel like with the four chalices, it's like you guys are having a new start and you're thinking about it, right? Like going ahead and like having a new start in love. But it's like you're not really taking the action. Okay, and I feel like you're not taking the action because you're holding on to someone from your past or your recent past. Okay, so this be someone that it did not work out with recently, right? So it's like that has ended and now you're in the energy of, okay, obviously I need to move on and have a new start. But it's in your mind, but you're not actually taking the action. And I feel like you're not taking the action because it may not fully be what you want to do. It's like... You're dissatisfied with the idea of fully having to have a new start. It's like you're bored with the idea of it. You're apathetic. You're not really putting in, like I said, the action to do it. You're just like dragging your feet, I feel. And with the hangman being here, I feel like it's because you guys are in limbo. You're in suspense. And I feel like you guys are in suspense because you're wanting this past person to come back you're wanting this past person to offer you their cup of love you kind of want a renewal with them right this is what you're saying is like you, you you're just kind of sitting there you know in suspense waiting for them to contact you waiting them for them you know waiting for them to offer you their new cup of love to you so that you could restart this again but i feel like you need to not do that you need to like keep going forward because you can't wait on this person. And I feel like with the hangman, this person has left you hanging. So you're just kind of waiting like, hmm, I don't know what to do. Hmm, where do I go from here? You know, that type of vibe. But we have the Ten of Wands here. So your, your spirit guides are saying, let this go. Release it. Let it go. I just want to see why this card is here. Okay, 
I feel like your spirit guides are saying let it go, right? And I feel like by you letting it go, either you will meet someone new who will be interested in you, okay? This person is quite the seductor. You know, this person kind of knows what to say to get what they want. You know, this person says all the right things. They're kind of like a smooth operator. That's their energy. So I feel like for some of you, you're going to meet someone new if you just release this past person and move forward, okay? And I feel like for others of you, the past person will actually kind of come back once you release it and just embrace that new start. And I just feel like your spirit guides are saying you need to take control of your love life. You need to take control. Like, you need to stop waiting on this person. Because you need to face the fact that this person wasn't putting in the work that was needed to make this grow. So they're saying, like, move forward. Because th this, is, this is essentially what they're saying. They're like, if you move forward, if it's meant to be, they're going to come back. Okay. Now, if you, if, let's say they don't come back after you move forward, but that's okay because you're going to meet someone new anyways. But you have to let them go and you have to accept the fact that they were not willing to put in the work that you were willing to put in into this situation. And I feel like even with this new person, they, they may not be willing to put in the work needed to grow with you like that. But still embrace it because you, 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 you need to get out of this mindset of like, okay, then work with this person and with this new person, may not work with them either. Like you may have to meet some, you know, frogs before you get your prints. You know, you have to change the way you think. Like it won't work for everybody because there's only one person designed for you. So, of course, it's not going to work with everyone. You know, you go through these frogs until you get the person that's for you. Same thing if you're dealing with a woman. Yeah. You guys just need to make a decision. You need to make a choice. And I feel like you're not making that choice because you're unhappy. But it's like, why would you stay stagnant and waiting on this past person when when they were around you weren't happy either it's like you're miserable without them but miserable with them that type of energy so yeah you guys need to stop staying stagnant so i just want to see how this person is feeling about you and what the outcome will be so how is this person that the cancer is still holding on to how do they feel about them you see you like i hope i'm making sense what i'm saying like Move forward, right? Because if you keep holding on, that will make the process of them ever coming back slower. Like, it will take longer. But if they see you moving forward, you have a greater chance of getting them back. And let's say they don't come back, well, then you'll meet someone new. And you'll be, that's, you know, a, a step closer to who you're supposed to be with. So, let's see. How does this person feel about the cancer? So there's something that um it's so funny because when I pulled the three of uh three of wands for the important message in my mind I was wondering if there was a third party situation going on here, and then with the three of swords being here, those threes a lot of times they represent a third party, so it could have been um, and then we do have the magician reverse here as well, so it could have been one of you did have a third party interference like. It could be that the person was cheating on you with someone else you were cheating and that could have been what led to y'all breaking it off with each other. If it's not that, it could be like a third party interference like family or friends interfering in a relationship, putting their opinions in it and that led to the demise of this whole thing. But this person basically 
at one point was feeling trapped in this connection. They no longer feel trapped because they've decided to let it go. And um, they realize they're not trapped. They realize that, you know, they can break free. That's kind of how they feel. But they are sad. They are heartbroken um, by the ending of this. This is not like their energy is not like, thank God it's over. No, they're actually sad about it. Okay. And I feel like. I feel like they may be viewing you as being quite cunning. Like they may view you as you were portraying to be one way than you really were. Um, I feel like one of you, to be honest with you, the energy I'm getting, one of you, I feel like there was a third party situation here. And I feel like one of you was kind of being like a player. Y'all could tell me in the comment section, like which one it was. Was it you or was it them? But I feel like somebody here was having a third party, okay? And I feel like this person, although they're heartbroken and they're sad, they're choosing, like I said, to let this go because they don't feel like they were able to manifest with you, okay? And, and they're totally okay with that. It's like, I'm trying to figure out how to explain it. It's like, they're heartbroken but they're like, you know what, it wasn't working. I wasn't able to manifest with this person. I wasn't able to really grow with them or whatever. So it is what it is. I also feel like this person's wish is really to just kind of be by themselves at this point. They feel like you guys were constantly fighting. And I feel like, I, I, I also feel like with the five of wands being here, I do feel like there was a third party interference and I feel like for a lot of you, it was their family and their friends. I, I'm seeing like five people, five to eight people being involved in the demise of this whole thing ending. Um, and I feel like it, I also feel like with the six of wands reversed that people became aware of what was going on between the both of you and they felt for their personal image and and the way people look at them was not good. Like this person I feel like you're dealing with, they care about how people see them. So whatever was transpiring between the both of you, I feel like their friends and family were aware of it. And they was like, I got, uh -uh, I got to let this go because this doesn't make me look good in the public eye. Okay. Like, I feel like this person, they care about how people feel about them. And I feel like, there will be no like congratulations oh my god y'all got married so good you know it, I'm, I'm just not seeing that here okay um but i want to see what the outcome will be three months from now because it can always change so what would be the outcome three months from now between the cancer and this person So it's going to still be some heartbreak. They're still, I feel like they're still going to be a bit heartbroken. And I feel like they're going to hold on to resentment. Resentment from the past. I feel like for a lot of you, this may be someone you've known for a while. Like it may be from like childhood. If not childhood, you've known them for a while. If, if not known them for a while, it could be that they feel very familiar with you. Um, I feel like you both are going to feel like you wasted your time with this. And you're just going to grow impatient with one another. And I feel like you're just going to continue to drop it. But there's a lot of heartbreak here. A lot of heartbreak. All right. So, um, Cancer, so I'm going to end this reading here. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.